And a stakeholder in Bielsa State Chief Ophren Williams says the state government's plan to introduce Chinese and French languages in schools curriculum when the Ijo language has not sufficed. Speaks volume of the government lamenting that about 79% of the public schools do not have good structures. Chief Williams was reacting to an announcement by the state government to make the teaching and learning of Ijo, French and Chinese languages, as well as science and mathematics, a priority in public schools. The Bielsa government had informed that the introduction of the foreign languages and other science subjects will prepare and equip children to take full advantage of career opportunities. Like Ibo, Yoruba, Aosa, had been in the YX levels for the past 40 years. But when compared to your language, your language is not even in a, in a, in a school living certificate. So it's a very terrible situation we find ourselves. And now if the government of the day have decided to say they want to introduce French and Chinese into the school curriculum, when the, the native language of the people, the digital language, is not even, have not found a way into the school curriculum, it speaks volume of the government. Uh, College of Education Warrior, who is a pioneer in your uh, formal uh, learning institute, had called for the joint nation to ensure that the program survives because our children are no longer interested in studying the Isol language there because after studying, they are not engaged properly. And you could see even in Mbayasa State, NDU, where the Joe Study Center is, the place is passive. The governor should ensure that even promotion exams that are written in the civil survey, service, Joe language should be cardinal. Our educational sector is in shambles in terms of infrastructure. Because if you go to virtually all the schools, it will shock you that 79% of the schools in Bias State does not have perimeter fencing. Meanwhile, His Royal Highness Moses Theophilus says the state government is making the educational sector a priority with various projects across the state. If you go around all the schools, you discover that it, there are projects going on, or the, even the old projects that were there, a lot of renovations and uh, equipment have been setting into those very uh, possible schools. And so you can see that there is a very uh, uh, speedy uh, development in the area of education. Because the state government has also declared that education is the bedrock of this uh, of any society. The commissioner of education is also a very proactive person. And they are trying as everything possible in carrying out government policy of developing and making sure the infrastructural development of education is second to none. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.